Buenos dias and welcome to Lección 21. And this is one of the stepping stones that I think will be good for everyone. However, at the end, after the lesson is over, we'll have a five-item prueba. And I would say you should at least be in the second grade because it's kind of tricky. If younger ones want to take it, that's fine. I would. Today we're going to add the third verse to the song Leoni Nada Mas. And it goes like this. In the living room, there's nothing walking around, just a lion, you know that stuffed lion. There's nothing walking around in the living room, just a lion. Say the Spanish after me. En la sala, no anda nada. En la sala, no anda nada. Solo un león. En la sala, no anda nada, solo un león. Remember, it's going to be a little bit of a workout. En la sala, no anda nada. Solo un león En la sala no anda nada Solo un león Le, 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 león Y nada más León, león Y nada más En la sala no anda nada, solo un león. En la sala no anda nada, solo un león. Le, 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 león y nada más. Le, Más. No hay nada bajo la cama, solo un león. No hay nada bajo la cama, solo un león. Le, 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 león y nada más. Oh, le. Nada en la recámara, solo un león. No hay nada en la recámara, solo un león. Le, 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 le león y nada más. Oh, le, león y nada más. Today's lesson is really about pronunciation mainly. It's got some good words in it that are useful, but mainly I'm after you getting really Spanishy sounding. Now look at the title of this song. Leon y nada más. Le. Repeat these after me. Le. Not le. Le. Leon. Leon. It's not Leon, it's Leon, Leon, E, not E, but E, E, Leoni, now listen, Leoni nada más, just listen, Leoni nada más, Leoni nada más, try it, just try it along with me, Leoni nada más. León y nada más. León y nada, nada más. León y nada más. León y nada más. 
León y nada más. I had a... Bueno, Jeannie from Minnesota. Yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Mucho gusto hearing from you again, señorita. Yes, I know. I just... I... I... Yes, I shave almost every day, Jeannie. Hasta luego. Anyway... When I was teaching on television, I had a classroom that I beamed into, and one day, the teacher of that class came to the microphone and to the camera and was speaking to me from there, from that school, which was miles away from the studio. And she says, Senor Russell, I have a student here who is from Mexico, and I ask him his name and he tells me, and it doesn't look like the way he is writing it. She said, I'm not sure he knows how to pronounce his name. Well, that was pretty funny to me, but I didn't laugh. This was a very intelligent woman. And I said, uh, well, why don't you have him come to the camera and the microphone and let me hear him? So she says, um, Lionel, come to the microphone and talk to Senor Russell. And he came up and I said to him, ¿Cómo te llamas? And he says, Lionel. I said, ¿Cómo? He said, Lionel. And so, I was able to explain to the class and to the teacher that this muchacho, of course, knew how to say his own name. But it looked like he was saying it wrong because of the way it was spelled. L-E-O-N-E-L. It looks like it should have been Leonel. But what happens is when you have a word that's longer like that, instead of just Leon, but Leonel, in that case, we will usually, in Spanish, when we're talking at a normal speed, that le will turn into li, Lionel, or, or close to it, Lionel. And so that's the way he always said his name. He grew up saying that, and probably his family called him that, Lionel. But we, by the way, that means, um, really, that would mean little lion, Lionel, Leoncito. You can say it that way, too. But we're using the word Leon, which maybe some of you have for a name, first name or middle name. Leon, it just means lion. Leon. No hay nada bajo la cama, solo un león. No hay nada bajo la cama, solo un león. Le, 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 león y nada más. Oh, le, león y nada más. No hay nada en la recámara, solo un león. No hay nada en la recámara, solo un león. Le, 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 león y nada más. Oh, le, león y nada más. En la sala no anda nada, solo un león. Sala no anda nada, solo un león. Le, 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 león y nada más. Oh, le, león y nada más.
Let's take La Prueba. You can take this on paper if you want to. These will be very short items. Numero uno. I'm going to say one of these and you tell me which one I'm saying. That is, write it down or point. Unmion. 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 The answer is. B. Unmion. If I had said A, that would be Unmion. Not Mion, but Mion. So we have Unmion. That's not even a word. But anyway, Unmion. Unmion. Numero dos. Which one are you hearing me say? Un leon. Un leon. Most of you got this one. Un leon. If I had said a, ah, that would be union. Union. Kind of close, isn't it? Un leon. Tres. Which one am I saying? I. I. The answer is B. Just the English word like I've got something in my eye. But if I were to say the Spanish word for there is or there are, I. 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 Compare with I. Numero cuatro. Which one am I saying? Solo. Solo. The answer is... Ah. It's English. It is so low I can't even sit on it. I need another chair. But if I were saying B, I would be saying solo. Solo. The word in this case for only. Or, it's just a lion. It's only a lion. How old are most people when they quit being afraid in the dark? Veintiocho? Dieciocho? Or, nunca? The answer is probably never. We all get afraid in the dark. Another good quiz is over. Hasta luego.